Dear Director Drogan Meyer and Acting Secretary Wolf. I'm responding to Director Drogan Meyer's letter of February 3rd, 2020, requesting the National Academy of Science to provide a rapid response assessment that would help determine the origins of 2019 novel coronavirus, specifically from the evolutionary structural biology standpoint, as well as to Secretary Wolf's interview on Fox News regarding your administration's coronavirus defense plans. Unfortunately, without addressing the liabilities detailed below, your administration may be hoodwinked, undermined, and diverted from the true origin of this lab virus and appropriate preventative actions, unnecessary increasing morbidity, mortality, and public anxiety. Now, this all comes from a letter by Leonard Horowitz to the White House. Let's move on. Leonard Horowitz is well-educated and well-positioned to respond to these threats. And I will leave you his... Um, bio below, but let's get to the facts. The liabilities of being incorrect include the laboratory creation of novel coronavirus in which the AIDS virus enveloped gene is attached as well as the middle fragment encoded SARS spike protein, both appearing to have been inserted into this particular bioweapon. The media censorship of accurate intelligence addressing the public's reasonable concerns and the erroneous and terrorizing information being broadcast instead of helpful preventative strategies beyond hand washing and the use of face masks, the geopolitical and the economic correlations and antecedents of the Wuhan outbreak, and finally, Hawaii's immigration policies risking mainland transmissions. Now let's get back to the Wu flu or the 2019 novel coronavirus, which was named today, by the way. Clear and convincing proof of this includes published scientific issues by nine honorable experts led by the Parashant Pradam and chief technical officers at IBM in Asia. Pradam's team used the Watson computer to analyze genetic similarities in the coronavirus and other pathogens. Unmistakably, this Wuhan 2019 novel variety of coronavirus contains a smoking gun, the AIDS virus enveloped gene prima facie evidence of lab virus recombinant. Now, there is a chance that this could be accidental or natural, but very low. The discovery of weaponizing of the 2019 novel coronavirus with HIV's attachment mechanism is compounded by the finding of evolutionary biologist James Lyon Wheeler at the Institute of Pure and Applied Knowledge. Now, Dr. Lyons showed the coronavirus genetic sequence contains a unique middle fragment. And I'm showing you the paper here where you can find links. Accordingly, it is unreasonable to presume that the novel 2019 coronavirus came from bats, snakes, or nature. Because Dr. Lyons showed the coronavirus genetic sequence contains a middle fragment encoding the SARS protein inserted to presumably increase respiratory distress using the P shuttle technology which is exclusively used in labs, not nature. And that's the smoking gun. It is unknown at present, however, which lab sourced this 2019 novel coronavirus HIV SARS recombinant. Given probable cause to presume criminal activity, the Justice Department should begin to investigate the short list of suspected BSL-34 labs 